Hello again. Today we are going to be continuing our discussion of box and whisker plots by talking about how to create parallel box and whisker plots, two or more uh, box and whisker plots on the same axis so that we can compare and contrast the data that they represent. So for example, I kept track of the number of hours per day that my two sons spent on their iPads so that I could compare and contrast. So there is the data for Kyler and there is the data for Rylan. Those are my two sons. So first we sort the data from least to greatest because I do want to find the median, the upper quartile, the lower quartile, and the interquartile range. And the data needs to be sorted in order for that to happen. All right, so let's calculate some statistics for each of those uh, boys. So there's Kyler's data again. The median is going to be the halfway point between the fifth and the sixth numbers because there are 10 numbers in the list. So the average of four and five is going to be 4.5. Now the list is separated into two halves and each half has five numbers in it. So the median of the lower five numbers is going to be three. That's my lower quartile. The median of the upper half is going to be um, seven. That's going to be my upper quartile. And so the interquartile range is going to be the difference between three and seven, which is seven minus three or four. So the interquartile range is four. So there is the um, box and whisker plot that applies to Kyler. Notice how um, it's got the minimum of two represented by a dot. It's got the lower quartile of three represented with the left edge of the box. It's got the median of 4.5 represented with that line inside the box. It's got the upper quartile of seven represented by the right edge of the box. And it's got a maximum of eight represented by that dot on the right hand side. If I do the same thing for Rylan, there's Rylan's list of numbers right there. It's also a list of 10 numbers, so the median is going to be the average of the fifth and sixth numbers, which is the average of one and two. That's 1.5. Again, that splits the list into two sets of five numbers. So the lower quartile is going to be the median of the lower half, and that's just one. The upper quartile is going to be the median of the upper half, and that is two. The interquartile range is going to be the difference between one and two. So two minus one is one. That's the interquartile range. So here is Ryland's uh, box and whisker plot. So you'll see again, the minimum of zero is represented by that dot on the left. The lower quartile of one is represented by the left edge of the box. The median of 1.5 is represented by the line in the box. The upper quartile of two is represented by the right edge of the box and the maximum of four is represented by that dot on the right. So now I have box and whisker plots for both suns on the same X axis. So I can do some comparison. And here's an example of what I might say. I might say that Kyler's data is more spread out. Um, and overall, Ryland's data is lower than Kyler's. So I can use that to make some interpretations about how each one of them is using their iPad on a daily basis. So that's how you would draw uh, more than one box and whisker plot on the same axis for the purpose of comparing and contrasting the data. Uh, if you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.